Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to solve calendar problems that are commonly asked in paper one of the UGC net exam. So sometimes you'd be asked a question like this. What was the day on 15th August 1947? So you'd be given a particular date. In this case, it's 15th August 1947. And you'd be asked to find what was the day on that date. Okay, was it a Saturday or Sunday or Monday? So we're going to learn how to solve these types of questions in this video. So to solve these types of questions, there are certain codes that we need to memorize. So we have codes for the months, we have codes for the centuries, and we have codes for the days of the week. So the codes for the months are given here in this table. So from January to December, the codes are 144-025-036-146. Okay, so for January, the code is 1, February 4, March 4, April 0, May 2, June 5, July 0, August 3, September 6, October 1, November 4, and December 6. Okay, so an easy way to remember this is by just memorizing it three months at a time. So the first is 144, which is 12 square, 025 which is 5 square, 0, 3, 6, which is 6 square. And for the last three months, it's 1, 4, 6. So just remember that we start with 1, 4, 4 and we end with 1, 4, 6. OK, so those are the codes for the months. Now, the codes for the centuries begin from the 16th century, which is from 1500 to 1599. So the code for that is 0. For 1600 to 1699, it is 6. For 1700 to 1799, it is 4. For 1800 to 1899, it is 2. 1900 to 1999, it is 0. And for 2000 to 2099, it is 6. So just remember the code starting from 1500 to 1599, it is 064206. All right. So next we have the codes for the days of the week. And it's very simple. It's just 0123456. So all you have to do is remember that it starts with Saturday. Saturday is zero and ends with Friday, which is six. Okay, so now that we've learned the various codes, we're going to find the answer to the question. What was the day on 15th August 1947? Let's fill in the details here in this table. So the date is 15. So let's write that here. The month code. OK, so the month is August. Let's look at this table here, which has all the codes for the various months. So for August, the code is three. So let's write that over here. The century code. The century code, you know that the year is 1947. So the century code is zero because it falls between 1900 to 1999. So the century code is zero. So let's write that here. The last two digits of the year. So the year is 1947 and the last two digits are four and seven. Next is the last two digits of the year divided by 4. OK, so 47 divided by 4. Don't worry about the remainder. Just write the quotient. So 47 divided by 4, your quotient is 11, right? Because 4 11s are 44. And we total all this. So the total of 15 and 3, 0, 47 and 11, the total is 76, right? So we need to divide this total by 7. OK, so. 76 divided by 7, 7 tens are 70, and your remainder is 6. Okay, so the remainder is the day code. So let's look at this table, which has the codes for the days of the week. So the day of the week corresponding to the value 6 is Friday, right? So your answer is Friday. So this means that 15th August 1947 was a Friday. Okay, so that's how you solve such a type of question. But what about leap years? So there are certain rules that need to be kept in mind when it comes to leap years. So generally, we know that a leap year is one that is perfectly divisible by four. So take the year 2004, for example. It is perfectly divisible by four, right? And we know that a leap year comes once every four years. So the year 2008 also is perfectly divisible by 4. 
and is a leap year. But what about century years? Century years are not leap years unless they are perfectly divisible by 400. Okay, so even if they are divisible by 4, they need to be perfectly divisible by 400. Okay, when it comes to century years. So what do we mean by century years? Century years are basically years that end with a double zero, right? Like 1500, 1600, 1700, and so on. Okay, so these years need to be perfectly divisible by 400 for it to be a leap year. Okay, for example, 1600 is perfectly divisible by 400. So it is a leap year. Same way 2000, the year 2000 is perfectly divisible by 400. So it is a leap year. However, years like 1500, 1700, 1800 and 1900 are not leap years because they are not perfectly div divisible by 400. Right, you get a decimal. Yeah. So this is just something to remember. So the important thing to know here is that if the given months are January or February, say in your question, they've asked you to find the date of 2nd January or 12th February of a particular leap year, then you need to subtract one day to find the day code. Okay, in the last step, when you find the remainder and you, you need to subtract one day to find the day code. Okay, so let's look at a few sums with respect to leap years. Question number one. What was the day on 1st March 2000? So we just saw that the year 2000 is a leap year because it is perfectly divisible by 400. Right? So let's fill in the details here in this table. So the date is 1st March. So under date, let's write 1. The month code. Okay, the month is March. So let's look at this table. The code for March is 4. Right. The century code, the century code, the year is 2000 and the century code for the century, you know, from 2000 to 2099 is 6. Right. So let's write 6 over here. The last two digits of the year 2000 is 0, 0 and the last two digits of the year divided by 4 is still 0. Okay. So the total of this 1 plus 4 plus 6 is equal to 11. Right? So we need to divide this 11 by 7. Okay, divide it by 7. 7 ones are 7. And your remainder is 4. Okay, so even though the year 2000 is a leap year, since the month is March, we do not have to subtract 1. Okay, so your answer is 4. Okay, remember I told you that only for the months of January and February in a leap year, you need to subtract one day from your remainder, right? So since the month is March, in this case, we do not subtract one from the remainder. Okay, so the answer is four. So we just need to look at this table to find out the corresponding day of the week for the value four, right? So the answer is Wednesday. Question number two. The question is, what was the day on 1st January 2000? Okay, so in this case, the date of course is 1, the month code January for January is 1, the century code for the year 2000, it's in the century, right? 2000 to 2099, so your century code is 6. The last two digits of the year 2000 is 0, and the last two digits of the year uh, 2000 divided by 4 is still 0, right? And the total of this 1 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 8. So we need to divide 8 by 7. So 7 ones are 7. Your remainder is 1, right? But since this is a leap year, the year 2000 is a leap year and the month is January, we have to subtract 1 from your remainder, okay? Subtract one day from your remainder. So one minus one is equal to zero. So your answer is zero. So what is the day corresponding to the code zero? Let's look at this table. The answer is Saturday. Okay, so 
what was the day on 1st January 2000? The day was a Saturday. Okay, now let's look at question number three. What was the day on 1st March 1900? Okay, so if you remember, I told you that 1900 is not perfectly divisible by 400. Therefore, it is not a leap year. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. So 1st March, let's fill in the details here. The date is 1. The month code for March is 4. The century code for 1900. Okay, so for 1900 to 1999, the century code is 0. The last two digits of the year, 1900, is 0, 0. And the last two digits of the year divided by 4 is 0. Okay, so the total of this is 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Okay, so this 5, of course, is not divisible by 7. So this is the, this is the day code. Okay, so let's look at the table here and find out the day corresponding to the value 5. The answer is Thursday. Okay, so 1st March 1900 was a Thursday. Remember that 1900 is not a leap year and so we don't have to subtract 1 from the, uh, subtract 1 to find the day code. Okay, so the last question, question number 4. What was the day on 1st January 1900? The date is 1st January, so let's write 1 here. The month code for the month January is 1. The century code for 1900, right? From 1900 to 1999, the century code is 0. So let's write 0 here. And the last two digits of the year 1900 is 00, zero and the last two digits of the year divided by 4 is still 0. So the total of this is 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. This, of course, is not divisible by 7. So this is the day code. So although the month is January, since 1900, is not divisible by 400 even though it's divisible by 4 it's not divisible by 400 so it is not a leap year right so we do not have to subtract one from this total okay so we just have to look at this table which tells us the corresponding day to the code 2 and that is monday Right, so our answer is Monday. Okay, so these are the codes. The month code starts from January and goes on to December. So that is 144-025-036-146. The century codes would start from the 16th century, that is from 1500 to 1599, is 064206. And the day code, which starts from Saturday and goes on to Sunday, is 0123456. So that's it for now. I hope you found this video useful. Do check out the other videos on my channel. You can also visit my website AJ's Classes for Education and Research.com. The link is in the description. Thank you. Bye bye.